Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This week, I had the chance to test drive the Grabber Yellow 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1. This thing is an amazing car and it's got an amazing engine. So we are gonna take a tour of the engine bay, outlining all the major components of this engine, what makes it what it is, and talk about the major service points if you're gonna do your own maintenance. The 2021 Mustang Mach 1 we have here uses the high-tuned version of the latest generation 5-liter Coyote V8 engine, and here it's mated to a Ford's rev-matching 10-speed automatic transmission. This engine first arrived in the 2012 Mustang and has undergone a number of evolutions, now in its third generation as of 2018. It now features both port and direct fuel injection to go along with its new cams and a bore increase that actually makes it 307 cubic inches now instead of 302. With a 12 to 1 compression ratio, dual variable cam timing, and a 7500 RPM redline, this is the most powerful 5.0 yet, here with 480 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts behind the grill and comes to an open element-style air filter box. While the filter box is sealed against the bottom of the hood underneath the driver's side hood vent, it's blocked by insulation, so not functional as one might expect. Regardless of where the air comes from, it then travels through a big bore tube past the mass airflow sensor and into a single bore throttle body and into the composite intake manifold. Charge motion control valves inside the manifold manage the speed of the airflow depending on RPM and engine load to maximize volumetric efficiency. You can see some of the control components at the rear of the manifold. The fuel system for the port fuel injection is shrouded well and not all that visible, with decorative covers that say powered by Ford hidden themselves somewhat by the Mach 1 logo strut tower brace. The direct fuel injection system is mostly hidden below the intake manifold and valve covers. Looking at the valve covers, you can see all eight coil packs for the spark plugs. Exhaust manifolds are well hidden down underneath and hard to see, as is the alternator down under on the driver's side. Servicing the 5-liter Mustang is pretty straightforward with all the major items in plain sight and easy to access. The coolant reservoir is at the front of the engine compartment at the center. Next to it on the passenger side is the bright blue cap for the windshield washer fluid. The main fuse box is found on the passenger side back toward the firewall and is easily open for access to the fuses. The 12-volt battery resides just to the rear of it but is hidden underneath a plastic cover. Ford knows Mustang owners like to show their cars and this cover cleans things up nicely. Checking the oil is done on the passenger side of the engine, the yellow handle dipstick visible near the strut brace. There is no dipstick to check the transmission fluid for the 10-speed automatic transmission as it's a sealed unit. Filling the engine oil is done on the passenger side, top and front. Brake fluid can be checked and filled at the driver's side rear of the engine compartment as expected. The ABS brake control unit is located just to the side of the master cylinder but is generally not user serviceable. Around the engine compartment there are a few notable details such as the factory strut braces that reach between the firewall and the towers. Driver's side is keenly visible. The passenger side is hidden by the plastic battery cover. Here of course we also have the well-designed tower-to-tower strut brace with a Mach 1 logo on it for function as well as those car shows. All right, my friends, there you have it for the 2021 Ford Mustang Mach 1 with the 5 liter V8. Now, I have to tell you, I have spent more time under the hood of a Ford Mustang, multiples of them, over my lifetime than you'll ever believe. Just trust me when I tell you that this is one of the best looking engine compartments in any Mustang ever, and probably one of the best motors ever to be under the hood of one. Yeah. Now, if you'd like to see the test drive of this car, you can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.